All right, this is the H copter frame build part two. What we're going to do is run some one inch screws in through the edge here to join uh, to join this to this. So we're going to countersink them in part way and uh, drill through so we won't split any wood and then anchor them in like that. Uh, once it's all drilled and everything, I'm going to loosen it off, put a little epoxy in there and then put the screws back in. And we should have a real strong, strong frame. All right. Okay, we're just going to line everything all up here. Uh, we're not going to get real technical. We're going to drill a hole in it. Okay. Just going to do one at a time. Um, so I want to make sure it's going to work out right before I drill all the rest of the holes. And we'll grab another drill bit here. Might be big enough. If not, we'll. Uh, I might have to go up to the garage and get a bigger one. Oh, I'll get my counter sinker, one of the two. So that will make a nice joint. Um, don't know if this camera will focus or not, but the screw is, head is countersunk about halfway into this board, probably about like that. Uh, doesn't really matter, just thought it would look better, hide it inside. And we'll put some epoxy in there. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill them all. Uh, countersink them all, screw it all together, make sure it's uh, going to fit real well and then I'll just pull the screws out, put a little uh, probably some 5 minute epoxy uh, behind and just tighten it back up again and she will be indestructible. Okay, this is number three. We'll just, uh, I better bring that a little closer to the edge. Line things up, run our first drill bit in. Change it to the next size. Put some countersink on this thing. Enough. And we run another wood screw in the end. And this thing will be nice and solid. Just like that. Okay, uh, this is a part where I'm probably going to do it a little different than everybody else. Uh, most people would just run a, a bead of CA all the way around to put this sheet on. Um, <clears throat> I'm allergic to CA. Um, the only stuff that I can use is uh, the odorless uh, CA and uh, kicker bothers me too. So unless I'm outside uh, I don't touch CA at all. It gives me flu-like symptoms. It's just, it's just like I have a cold and flu. It's, it's bad stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this uh, 
uh, Gorilla Glue and I'm going to run a bead uh, all the way around uh, set the sheet on top and just stick some weights on it and come back to it in a little while so we'll just glue this thing down we don't need to put a lot on here this Gorilla Glue is pretty good stuff if you get carried away with it you're gonna have glue everywhere that's the only problem with this stuff is, is when it expands it can be messy if you're not prepared for it <clears throat> but us guys that have allergies to CA I, I don't know how that came about actually I never I wasn't allergic to it when I first started using it and it just slowly uh, came on and it's to the point now <clears throat> you know that smell you can smell CA when you put it on if I get even a whiff of that smell that's too late I'm already it's already got me and it's gonna bother me for at least two days afterwards you can take some uh, things like reactant and stuff like that and it helps a bit but it still doesn't doesn't make it go away so just be careful if you're if you're new to this and you're using CA make sure that you're uh, you're not allergic to it I'm going to stick uh, <clears throat> some of my battery packs on top of here just to hold this down and we should be go good good to go once it sets up it'll be nice and uh, secure and we'll start on the other side. I think the other side we might do things a little different. Uh, I've got a couple thoughts on that, so uh, we'll see when we get there. <clears throat> 